Six of the top 10 ports have registered double digit trade growth this year, equal to 27.81 billion. Overall US trade grew by just 14.31 billion. What happens if you exclude the Port of Los Angeles, Chicago's O'Hare International Airport, New York's JFK International Airport, the Port of Newark, Los Angeles International Airport, and the Port of Savannah? U.S. trade is actually down $13.5 billion at the nation's more than 450 other airports, seaports, and border crossings. In that group of six, trade at number two ranked O'Hare is up $9.51 billion, or more than one-third of the total. Trade at number four ranked JFK was up $5.56 billion. Trade at number one, Port of Los Angeles, up $4.63 billion. Those first three accounted for two-thirds of the $27.81 billion increase. Also expanding at better than 10% were the Port of Newark, Los Angeles International Airport, and the Port of Savannah. It's telling that the top six include three airports and three seaports, but neither of the top two border crossings in the top 10. Number three ranked Port Laredo's trade fell ever so slightly through February, down less than 1%. Detroit's Ambassador Bridge, ranked 6, saw its trade fall slightly more than 6%. In fact, to find a border crossing with double-digit growth like the top three airports and the top three seaports, you have to look to the FAR International Bridge. FAR, which ranked number 30 at this time last year, moved up to number 27 with trade growth of 21.95%. As all these airports, seaports, and border crossings know, and as you know, two months does not a year make. But they also know, as I hope you know, that trade matters. From outside the Washington Beltway and inside the trade numbers, this is Ken Roberts, and this has been another episode of Trade Matters. Thanks for watching and sharing.